Okay. I'm assuming you're quite happy to stay there then, are you? Hey? Yeah. Morning world, welcome to Monday 17th of October, TB day. Well at least it stopped raining. I laid in bed last night, coughing, um, listening to the rain batter the side of our house. Well, it didn't really batter, but I could hear it just, well, raining. So, uh, we've got one animal to test today. Um, he was what we class as an inconclusive result on our last TB test. So basically we went clear, apart from one animal that had a test that was, well, we're not sure about that one. So we have to wait 60 days and retest him. Uh, now, one or two folks will say, well, why do you have to wait 60 days? Well, the reason you wait for 60 days is you have to wait long enough for the previous injection of uh, tuberculin to be basically flushed out of his system because if we tested him again too soon he probably would come up with a false positive <sighs> right then where is he okay so as i remember <coughs> hopefully you can see me it's a bit dark in here as i remember he's got two little stubby horns so basically what i've got to do first is get him through into that side so i'll just unchain that gate And see if I can pull in. You'll probably be the last animal to come through because that's sod's law. So last night I opened up this end door and put a second bale out. What's that? No, that's a heifer. Let them out this end as well. And that's just to give me a bit more scope for moving stuff around. 161. One six two. Who are you? One six. Well, there he is. Go on, fella. Go on. Go on. In you go. Go on. In you go. Good chap. Come on. Come on. That's it. I deliberately left some cat up at that end so he would willingly go up because if there was nobody else up here, there's no way. No, no way I'd get him up there, sir. Out you go. Go on. Out you go. Out you go. No, out. Right. Toes, toes, no, I don't want you in here. I want you in here. That'll do. Right. Go on. Go on, sweetheart. Go on. There you go. Go on. All right, you could have a little one first. All right. The face on it. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah, we like that. Go on then. There you go. Go on, and you. Go on, mush. Hop it. Out. Go on. Out. Go on.
Oh, I think I found a hole in my... <laughs> it's typical, isn't it? So, they last all summer, not that I wore them much in the summer. And then winter months when it's wet, I get blinking puto again. Go on. That gate can stay there. That one can stay there. That one will go there. And that one will go right there. Right. Skid steer. not going anywhere. That's that opened. Then get through the grub. They got water. They got shelter. Everybody else is happy at their end. Uh, he is a little bit stressed out in there. It's almost like he knows it's him. But while he's in with other ones, with other animals, he shouldn't be. He shouldn't be too bad. So, pretty sure he cannot get out through that barrier down there. Well, that's what he's looking at. All right, boys and girls. Where is he? There he is. Go on. Go on, up. Up you go. I could have done with you going first, really. Ah, it's the boy. Look at that. Hey, look at that. Yeah, I think it's a long round. I'll clout someone on your all. 161. Hey. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it, my Yeah, uncle. you can go now. I've just seen you, bye. <laughs> yeah, it. it was great. great. It was good for me. Are you going to keep him in? Oh, crush has moved. Oh uh, no, they're all going to stay in for a uh, week because I've got uh, fertilizer spreading. Just getting confused, isn't he? Well, there's nothing on that gate for a minute, so watch it. Yeah. All right, boys and girls, I said you can get some sunshine this end of the barn, can't you? Yeah, my nice clean yard. It's getting dirty. So, it was going to happen sooner or later. Right, we are off to. Mole Valley, because I've got to get some fencing stakes. Mind biscuit. Mind, mind. Where are you? Where are you? Where's she gone? I hate it when she does that. She's probably marching in front of me. Oh no, she's behind, that's all right. 
yes, more valley to go and buy a load of fencing materials for sheep. Abbey's sheep can't use one of the small paddocks over at the um, farm because there's a hole in the hedge and when she tried it, a couple of the lambs decided to get out into my neighbours. They weren't overly happy about that. They put them back, but they weren't overly happy about it. So the only way I'm going to sort this out properly is to actually fence it. It's not a big area, it's only a small small bit of fence, probably about 50 metres of fence. But I'm going to go and put some stakes in for Rich Cornock on Thursday after our TB test reading, which I'm hoping is going to be clear. Um, so, yeah, fencing, sheep. Anyway, um, tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, Tuesday the 18th, we are chucking some fertiliser on. When I say fertiliser, it's more like a soil conditioner and a grain conditioner. There's no actual nitrogen in this granular stuff we're putting on. We're putting on a rate of 200 kilos per hectare, <coughs> which may not sound a lot, but like I said, this is not a fertiliser. This is a it's just to help rebalance our um, trace elements in our soils. So, um, yeah, the fertilizer, it's proper fertilizer with the nitrogen, doesn't go on until next spring. But uh, my neighbor's very kindly offered to come and um, spread it for me. Uh, it was very good of him. And rather than paying him, in return, he's having a little wood chip. Um, they run a very big flock of uh, free range chickens for eggs. So um, every year they have quite a bit of wood chip, wood chip off of us to put down outside of the, around the poultry um, housing, keeps the birds clean, birds are clean, eggs are clean, everything works out, yeah. So there's a bit of bartering going on, he's going to come and do a little job for me and in return I'm going to give him a load of wood chip for the chickens. No money changes and no tax, no bills, I, I'm quite happy to do a bit of bartering. So, so that's uh, tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday, I'm meeting Simon from TMAC again because he's got the results back from the soil tests from the other farm. We already knew the grain was acid. Uh, when I spoke to my dad about it, he was saying that my uncle was forever. He was always putting lime on there, so the grain's always been acid over there. I don't have a number, <coughs> but I think the pH is in the low sixes. So we're going to have to do something about that. Bearing in mind we've already cultivated it and drilled it. So I'm not quite sure what we can do right now as far as pH on um, freshly drilled ground is. Not sure. Not sure. Uh, Thursday I'm banging in post. Well, we're doing a TB test and banging in posts for Mr. Cornock. Um, maybe even some for ourselves. And then from then on, we're on to the hedge trimming. So, yeah. So tomorrow afternoon, when I finish my meeting with Simon, it'll be back to the farm, on with the hedge trimmer, get everything greased up, everything checked over, or make sure my nuts are tight, um, and my bolts are straight, and then we're ready to go hedge trimming before it gets too wet. Guess. Three seven foot strainers. This is all creosoted. Three seven foot strainers. 15 five foot six um, four inch creosote. This is four round posts and a hundred meter roll of wire. So last time I bought creosote posts, I bought six foot, not five foot sixes. And they were about £3.95 each. And I think the strainers were 20 summit.
these sheep are proving expensive. Right. So that lot is destined for here. That's me water. Hmm. I've got to smash the hedge back first and then put the fence up. Okay, well, 45 meters, 15 posts. That's basically one every three meters. For sheep, that's good enough. And against the hedge, that's good enough too. Mind biscuit, mind. Okay, yeah, always wear gloves when you're ending that because it's nasty and do not rub your face. Even if you wear gloves, gloves, don't rub your face afterwards. All right, we'll bash them in later this week. Come on you, come on. Any time today, in you go.